Welcome to Slaying Excel Dragons video number 32. Hey, these are the videos that accompany the book. We are still in chapter 5. Chapter 5, this video we're going to co cover three types of averages. We're going to look at the average, the median, and the mode functions. Those are three different types of averages, and we'll see when to use each one of these. We'll also see the COUNTIF can be used for the mode average. Let's go over to our Excel workbook. We're going to start in Excel is Fun Start. You can download this by clicking on the link below the video or get it from the DVD. Now, there are th many different kinds of averages. We're just going to look at mean, median, and mode. Now, in loose language, we use the word average. And that means add them all up. So if I have some test scores here, add them all up, divide by the count, the arithmetic mean. We calculate averages like this mean because we want one value that will represent all the values. We can look at these, right, all the individual data points, but we're really for discussions and budgets and reports and things like that. We want one value, so we say a typical value, 65.5. That's why we have averages. Now, in this particular case, we have numeric data. And so we can use the arithmetic mean. Now, when they went to name this function, they didn't go to statistics where they call the arithmetic uh, mean the mean. They just said average. This is the everyday language that people use. So the name of the function, average. And it will add them all up and divide by the count. It'll also skip over that blank. If we had a 0 there, the 0 would be calculated in uh, as a value, and it would be counted as a value. If I put a 0 here, the average is going to go down, because now we're going to have one extra count and an, a value added up here, which would be 0. Right? So you can see we do that. So when you are, and we had other video, um, a bunch of videos ago, that showed you how to deal with an average with blanks or 0. All right, but the point of this video is average. It's a typical value. Now we can say, oh yeah, the average was 65.5. And everyone knows that that's the kind of the typical value for the class. Now, we got to talk about a problem with the average function or the statistical mean calculation. Let's go over to the sheet MED for median. If you have outliers that are way out there, like a million dollar house, here's our average. But what we'd really like is a, a value that more fairly represents its data points. And the problem with this is when you include big values, it pushes the average up. That's why in real estate, you never hear them talking about average. They talk about median. Because they don't want a couple big values, or in that for that matter, a couple small values, to skew the average calculation one way or the other. So median is just another type of average, which really we should be saying typical value, because that's the point of all averages, is to get a typical value we can use in discussion. Like the real estate agent can say, the median price in this neighborhood is median. All it does is it automatically sorts them and takes the one in the middle. Now I'm going to prove that to you uh, in just a moment. If I, um, I don't have a, well, so I'm going to change this up. I'm going to type 275 here and then 250 here. You can see it's still calculating uh, 312, 500. I'm going to, whoops, sorry still calculating the one. It's still finding the one in the middle, even though I unsorted them by uh, changing the values. Now I'm going to control Z, 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 Z. Control Y is undo the undo. All I did here is I sorted them so visually you could see what the median's doing. It is taking the one in the middle. And again, it doesn't have to be sorted. Hey, when you have an odd number of data points, it just takes the one in the middle. When there's an even, number of data points. It just takes the two in the middle and calculates the average. Let's try it, median. And then I'm going to take the average of these two. And we better get the same exact answer. All right, so when you have outliers, use median, not mean or average. Finally, there's one other type of average we're going to look at. It's called the mode. Now here's the situation, right? 
you have survey results. And the data points are these. Below par, below par. So we asked 100 people whether they liked a new soda pop. These are the results. Nor, and this column is, is usually not there. You just have your results. I do have a number column here to illustrate how the mode function works. But 4 represents great. 3 represents good. This number is just arbitrary. It's saying that this 3 represents that word good. All right, but what are you going to do with data like this to calculate an average? Well, you use the COUNTIF function because you want to find a typical value. And what is the typical value? Well, in data sets like this, it's the item that occurred the most often, the most frequently. So I'm going to use COUNTIF. And I'm going to say, oh, the range. I'm going to highlight this whole range right here. Control shift down arrow, F4 to lock it comma, and there's the criteria. So now it's looking that through that whole column. 13 greats. Double click and send it down. OK. So this is a bummer for the new soda pop drink, right? In this sample of people, 42 people said below par. So that becomes the typical value or the average. Uh, and this is known as the mode. Now, in some cases, to speed up calculations, people do have qualitative data, but then they use a number. And the mode function can look through numbers and tell you which number occurred the most frequently. So I'm going to say mode. And actually, in 2010, there's mold molt, which is an array function we're not going to do in this class. I do teach it in my statistics class, though. And mold single, this is the new function they want you to use. We're going to use the old what is called compatibility function. That's this one down at the bottom. What they did is they substituted a bunch of new functions in. And anytime you had a, a, an older function that has that little triangle there, mode single and mode calculate exactly the same answer. All right, so our numbers, I'm going to get this column, Control shift down arrow. F4 to jump it back in place. And that's it. Whoops. I wasn't paying attention. Look at that. So what did it do? Because 1 represents below par, it found the, the number that occurred the most frequently. So that's what mode does. But use, a lot of times, you just you don't have number data, and so use count if. Now, I want to show you why you can't use average function or mean to calculate the mode. How many, here we have um, below par. If we were to add, add up all the values, like for example over here, these are scores, right? So this person got 59. This person got 78. You can actually add these values up and divide by the count. But what about mode? So each person said below par, below par, below par. So you count 1, 2, 3, and what would you get? If you were trying to add them all up, well, you got one vote for each one. So it would be 42 equals 42 divided by, well, how many were there? 42. You can never get an arithmetic mean when you have qualitative data like this. You always get 1. So it's impossible to calculate the mean. And so that's why things like the mode were invented. The one that occurs most frequently will be our typical value. All right, so mode function, COUNTIF function, absolutely median, totally important, and also the average, which is really mean. All right, see you next video.